All right, guys, it's happening. How's it going, by the way? Mr. Holton here, and today we have some pretty amazing news. Because just earlier today, several news outlets started going crazy with some pretty huge headlines. It's not until I went to the source itself, Deadline, that I could indeed confirm that these headlines were all true. Now this article over in Deadline mainly talks about the success of the Wheel of Time TV series that has just been released on Amazon. But if we scroll down this wall of text, we're met with this. One of the company's newest hopefuls in the arena is Mass Effect. Amazon Studios is nearing a deal to develop a series based on the best-selling sci-fi video game franchise from Electronic Arts. And Bioware. You will see us continuing to invest in fantasy genre of all kinds. We have a genre-focused team on the ground in studios who work tirelessly with our creative partners on those slates. And you can look forward to more. So, now it's not only confirmed that a Mass Effect TV series is in the works, but Amazon is the company that's close to making a deal on it. Now this is just mind-blowing, because I never expected this day to come, at least not in the near future. But here we are. One of the greatest works in the history of gaming is finally getting its adaptation. And I, for one, think this is great news, because most shows that I've seen from Amazon so far have been pretty terrific, like The Boys, Invincible, American Gods, and now also The Wheel of Time. There's also that one very similar TV show that's on Amazon right now. It's called The Expanse. If you haven't seen it, then give it a shot. It's actually pretty good. But there's more to this. You guys might remember an event earlier this year, where Superman and the Witcher himself, Henry Cavill, was having his hair done while preparing to film for the second season of the Witcher series. In this picture, he's holding a mysterious paper, which many assumed was a script, and after a few internet detectives looked at it more closely using a sort of de-blurring tool, the code was cracked and we could clearly see that the script reads of the Quarian and Geth War. So it's not too crazy to assume that Henry was in on this deal from the very start, and this was his own way of teasing it. It also makes sense that he'd play a character in Mass Effect, since he successfully managed to put his own little spin on Geralt from The Witcher. Then there's also the fact that he's pretty well known for being one of the biggest gamers in Hollywood. He famously missed his call from Zack Snyder to play Superman because he was too busy playing World of Warcraft. Anyway, most of the stuff regarding Henry Cavill is just mostly speculation. But for now, we can indeed confirm that Mass Effect is this close to getting made into a series. We don't know yet who's going to be directing it, and we only have an idea of maybe Henry Cavill starring in it so far. The crux of this news, however, is that Mass Effect is a series that's not very known for having a canon story. So the question is, if they are indeed moving into the territory of the main story, how will they do it? Will Shepard be male or female? Will Shepard even be the main character? What choices or events are going to be canonized? If it's not about the main timeline, will it be about the First Contact War, maybe? Maybe it's about another unnamed character we haven't been introduced to yet. What do you guys think of this? I'm really curious. Were you expecting a film trilogy? Or did it just make sense for them to be making it into a TV series? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day, guys. Mr. Holton, signing out.